Hi everyone, welcome back to the Web3 channel. My name is Zach. In this video, we are looking at some CBDC news when it comes to China. Of course, we saw that China was going to be introducing the CBDC re regarding the Olympics 2022. We've seen US officials warn athletes not to use the CBDC and instead to use regular payments such as Visa. We're going to have a look at what's going on right now, what has actually happened throughout so far. Digital Yuan transactions beating out Visa at Winter Olympics venue. A report many of the national stadium retailers allowing the uh, allowing purchases with China's CBDC were outside the Olympics quarantine bubble for athletes, journal journalists and staff. On the day of the ceremony of the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics, there were reportedly more transactions made in China's CBDC than those through Visa. In a Wednesday report from the WSJ, a person familiar with the matter said transactions in digital yuan significantly outnumbered those of Visa on February 4 about a week ago at the Beijing National Stadium, also known as the Bird's Nest, the location of the opening ceremony on the 34th Olympic Winter Games. However, many of the retailers allowing purchases with the Chinese CBDC, the Digital Yarn, or ECNY, were outside of the Olympics quarantine bubble for athletes, journalists, and staff. As we're seeing here, this is the bird's nest. According to the report, those within the bubble have the option of paying for goods or services with cash, visa, or digital yuan. And there are many automated machines allowing people to exchange fiat currency for ECNY, coupled with the likely intention of reducing contact between individuals and an effort to prevent the spread of COVID. It seems the country CBDC is pulling ahead of visa, at least in an environment with limited use cases that include participation from Chinese consumers. Replacing cash with digital yuan for payment can effectively reduce direct contact between people and the risk of the spread. Though payments using mobile apps like Alipay, WeChat Pay and others are generally accepted at many retails in China, these methods weren't allowed at the Winter Olympics due to an exclusivity contract with Visa. The credit card company has reportedly not pushed back against the digital yuan payment options, possibly because it is awaiting approval of domestic license application to operate in China. CNN reported on January 31st that the first international test run of CBDC is facing hurdles due to the pandemic, with officials limiting the number of people allowed to enter the country. Though China hasn't released data on the number of digital yuan transactions or apps using the CBDC, US lawmakers did warn Americans participating in the games of the potential dangers of testing the CBDC, which we have made videos on on this channel, including threatening US interests in cross-border payments. At the time of publication, Cointelegraph was unable to find any reports of athletes claiming to have used the CBDC for food or other essentials. The WSJ reported both the president of the Dutch Olympic Committee and a former Beijing resident now involved in television coverage of the games implied there was little point in using the digital currency when visa was available the winter olympics are scheduled to conclude on february 20 and of course this is an ongoing story mainly regarding what is the success what is the progression of what we see with the cbdc because you know that's going to be a very interesting conversation on a worldwide discussion when it comes to just general cbdc's not just the digital digital yuan but as we see of course the us try and find their findings with regulation where they want to be with the digital dollar usdc and what we see with with england and everywhere else it'll be interesting to see where the cbdc story goes that being said what are your thoughts let me know in the comments below this is the web3 channel covering everything happening in the web3 space from crypto nft metaverse news have a great day everyone i'll see you in the next web3 video.